Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a random haul. This is like random crap that I picked up. It's, it's beauty related and some's like a school planner related, but I thought I would share it with you because I thought it'd be interesting just to see kind of what I got for school things and new things I'm gonna do on my channel. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I link all my social media down below. So make sure to check them, follow me on Instagram and all that so you always keep up. So first thing first, so I can move it out of my way because it's big. You may notice I do not have a planner organizer, not planner, why did I say planner? Now I'm thinking about school. A palette organizer over there. It is because I got a new one and it's heavy and I'm gonna pick it up and show you guys, but I love it so much. Let me just pick it up without dumping them everywhere. So I got this wonderful palette organizer. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard to see because it's like so big and it's heavy and it's storing all of my palettes, but I got this actually off of Amazon and oh my God, I think it was like $13. Um, I don't remember the brand or whatever, but I will link it down below. It stores every single one of my palettes. I have a Lorac Mega Pro in the back, a Z palette, a Morphe palette, Chocolate Bar, um, Kat Von D, Sweet Peach, uh, It Cosmetics, the Urban Decay Naked, Mono Renaissance, uh, Carly Bible, Violet Voss, Urban Decay, Tarte. I have them all right here. I mean, this thing has saved my life and I love the way it looks over there because now I have two acrylic organizers. Um, I posted pictures of it on my Instagram so you can go there and check them out and see more in depth of what they look like. But this thing for I think it was under $15 saved my life. Um, if I get any more palettes though I'm going to have to move and choose which ones I want to display and put the other ones in a drawer. But I love this thing so much. So you definitely just look so cute now. They're both acrylic and I just, I just love the way it looks. I'm a sucker for pretty things, pretty packaging. Next thing I got is another thing that's acrylic. This is actually from the Buy Allegory brand. I'm sure everybody and their mother owns stuff from them here on YouTube if you have to do with beauty. But I finally caved in because it came out with something I really, really wanted. It is a beauty sponge holder and like drying system. So the sponges, they sent these little like pod things and there's holes on the bottom to let them air dry after you clean them. This one I actually just use in the blue one so they're letting you know sit in there a little air drying but they have um four little sponges in the front or three little sponges medium and they have big ones in the back and they have like a like a contour a, a different type of sponge for in the middle but I thought this was super duper cool and now they're falling everywhere. Um, but I think it was around $10 also on Amazon. I will link it down below. I think it's a really cool idea and also more sanitary since your, uh, I almost said brushes, since your sponges can, you know, air dry from the bottom. And y'all normally never see that because it's sitting behind me on my vanity mirror anyways, but I just had to tell you. The next thing is some stuff I got from Target. So Target sucks me in every single time, but there was a main reason I did go and I think it was for school stuff and I had to get new bed sheets. But I actually have a ColourPop order in here that I was so freaking excited about. I actually don't think I've ever ordered anything off ColourPop, which is strange because I've got my cousin ColourPop stuff for Christmas. But I guess we will do the ColourPop stuff first. So I did look at it. I just, I didn't do anything else with it though. But this was the day that they released their like limited edition 1 million um, pressed eyeshadow shade. So it has um, like some real pretty like red and burgundy tones in it. So I ordered it to get the free um, eyeshadow because the eyeshadow was $5 and that paid for shipping. So I only paid like $20 for all this. But this is the pressed shadow. It is for their little 1 million thing. It's really, really pretty. I hope there's nothing wrong with it because it looks a little sketchy. But um, it looks... It looks beyond gorgeous. I can't wait to pop it in my Z palette, which is probably what I'm gonna do after this, but um, it sucks. I kind of was debating whether or not to show you guys this because I know it is limited edition, so you can't get it anymore. But their eyeshadow pants are huge, and it's just real pretty, like fiery red and orange shade. That'd be pretty all over the lid. Sally Fall is ending, but you know, it's still cooler here in Texas, but I'll probably get used out of it in a tutorial. And then I did get some other stuff from ColourPop. I got three lipsticks and I think this is a lip liner or eyeliner. Oh, it's a gel liner. This is in, what shade is it in? Get Paid. So I got this because I really wanted a pretty kind of like golden shade for an eyeliner. 
and this is like a champagne gold shade I don't know why it intrigued me so I really really wanted to get it maybe something different than a normal nude liner that I apply in my waterline then I got three of their lippies one is normal this is like their um ultra these are all three ultra mattes but this one is clueless which is that you know the normal shade everybody loves nowadays that real pretty like mauve pinky shade and I think that's like all the shades I got were like the mauve pinky shades but what can you say I have a preference so that is it right there it's a little deeper than normal but something about it just intrigued me so that is clueless and then the other two I got are like from their new line this is Sunday and this is Monday so Monday I think is a like a lot more of like a peachy nude same packaging I just thought it was cute how they had like the whole like Sunday Monday line but I just think these are just so cute and I love their mattes. I know people say they're like real drying, but I love them. I think they're great. So that right there is Monday and that is Clueless. Monday is a lot more nude and darker. And then I got Sunday, which I think is gonna be pretty close to Clueless, but I could be wrong. So Sunday is actually a lot pinkier than Clueless. Clueless is a more dusty, dusty rose. Um, Monday or Sunday, well, it was Monday, <laughs> is a lot more of a deeper nude. And then Sunday is kind of a more pinkier rosy tone so they all are different <laughs> they are completely different that's why i got them all i'm sure i'll get some crap from my boyfriend or my dad or something like they all look the same it's like no they're not they're all different they all have special things about them i'm so happy i finally own something from ColourPop. and then the rest of the stuff in here is actually all from target and i saw that aspen ovar she's a youtuber here on youtube she is a like beauty vlogger she lifestyle vlogger she released her own line with pixie and i found three of the things that I was interested in and I'm gonna do a video over it like is it worth it because pixie stuff is expensive this was $16 a piece so I got you know what I could and what I liked I think there was one more highlighter shade but that was too dark for my skin tone so I got her blush and this is in Rome Rose they real pretty kind of like rosy shade I think it does have a little bit of shimmer in it then I got her highlighter and this is in London Luster so it looks real pretty real pretty like kind of sheeny and I've been wanting to try both of these out so it kind of worked because they're both in the same packaging and um, this is the lower lash mascara in brow tamer so mascara for your lower lash line and a gel to set your brows she like swears by this stuff so I really really wanted to try it out and I'm glad I got I got the whole collection because like I said I want to film a video seeing if it's worth it the next thing I did get are some wet and wild goodies and we're gonna jump into the one thing that matters the most of the whole entire video I found the Wet n Wild highlighter. I didn't find the other one, which I'm still on the hunt for, but I found one, so there is hope. There's hope that I will find the other one. This one is the Wet n Wild highlighting powder in Crown of My Canopy. I, I won the other one, the Precious Petal one, so bad, but this one will do. I'm so happy I found it. I'm so excited to try it out. I found it at HEB. I saw it at Walgreens, so they're still out there, people. You still have hope to find them because I was about to order them online, and then I was like, I saw this in store, and I'm like, this is a sign. It's a sign not to order them. <laughs> and then I got two of their Wet n Wild Catsuit lipsticks because I absolutely love, love, love this formula. Again, did a whole video over all of these. I can do um, a little card right here. I tested out all the new products from wet and wild but the two colors i did get were nudist peach and give me mocha i love the give me mocha shade and the peach looked really pretty of the lip swatches casey holmes did on her channel but these colors i was super excited about and the last couple things from target these are actually school related for me i picked up some page flags i love using these in my planner for school just to jot down little things the teacher may say that i don't have time to like fully right out so these are really really super cute and polka dotty and then these right here are more just like pastel shades and have floral on them but like I said I love throwing these in my planner and just keeping in there for school and then the next two things I got which I'm so freaking excited about because I couldn't find it anywhere like you have no idea when I was in Target that day I probably could have looked like a crazy person because I could have been jumping up and down but I kept my composure I was like Taylor you are in public you cannot do this and then I was texting my cousin I was leaving she was like oh my god imagine if we were together because we always like freak out when we see makeup that we've been trying to find for so long 
but this is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. I've heard good, good things about this, so I'm so happy I found it. I did not want to buy it at Walgreens because it was like over ten dollars. This was eight dollars at Target. I don't, rem I don't recommend make makeup from Walgreens or CVS because it's so expensive. But if you find something like Wet n Wild like this, then I would buy it. But other than that, I, I'm so happy I found this at Target. It was cheaper. It has a great mist. What I've heard, it actually helps your makeup last. So I'm so excited. I love facial spray. So if y'all have any like recommendations recommendations for facial sprays and like that let me know down below because I'm like totally in love with those and then the last thing I got is these Sonia Kashuk foundations they're soft focus satin matte foundation I got this from Casey Holmes recommendation she has extremely oily skin which I do not I have pretty normal to dry skin but something about this intrigued me and how much she loved it so I really really wanted to get it and it took me forever to find my shade this is an 01 bisque so lightest shade that they have I hope it works because if not I'm not buying another one because O2 looked way too dark so I'll have to bronze but I'm super excited about this I will probably do a first impression so keep an eye out for that I hope you guys did enjoy this random haul video if you want to see more random hauls just random stuff that I got that's not really makeup or anything related just let me know I know I had a lot of new releases in here and stuff that I will be trying out so comment down below if you have any video suggestions want to see any of these stuff in actions like I said the Aspen Ovard with Pixie I'll do a video over that Sonia Kashuk I'll do video over that and hopefully I can acquire you know some new makeup to do more um, like trying out new makeup videos and all that but I hope you guys do enjoy thanks for watching and I will see you guys later bye guys